Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Fallout 4's Nuka World. In the last episode, we got all of the star cores in the vault tech among the stars. And now we have returned to the mainframe. Look at all these. Why every time, you dang robots? Okay, fine, fine. You guys do nothing to me. If you want to die, that's fine. That's fine. Come on over. I'll kill all of you. It's okay. Uh, yes, we return to the mainframe. I think we want to plug in some star cores here. I think we have around... Six? Because we got six from... Really, dude? Really? We got six from Vault-Tec Among the Stars, but we might have had more... Oh, we also found one outside of Vault-Tec Among the Stars, so let's see how many we have. Uh, let's see, are there any more slots? Of course there are, because you can put, like, a whole bunch in. Um, over here... Okay, we are out. Now, it said we had a new mainframe option or something like that, so let's check that out. Emergency protocol selective shutdown one. Connects to all linked robotic systems with the, spe with the specified firmware and issues an emergency shutdown order, overriding all other commands. Once selected, the target cannot be changed. Uh, okay. Ah, so we can... That's what I thought. It was going to be shutting down the robots that are attacking us. So we can choose the iBots, the Handies, or the Nucatrons. I think the Nucatrons are the burliest, and so I'm going to shut them down first. Uh, the selective shutdown was issued success successfully. Okay, great. Uh, the other guys aren't really that much of an issue. The iBots are just crazy annoying, but they die in one hit. The, uh, other dudes, yeah, those are pretty annoying. Uh, okay, so let's take a look at our quest. We're still finding some star cores, uh, outside of the galactic zone, on the galactic zone grounds, and clear the galactic zone. Oh, that's about it. Okay, well, let's follow the, uh, waypoints, at least. There's one leading up here. In this direction. I'm not sure exactly where it's going to lead us. Over there. Huh. Okay. Let's see. Do we want to get to the top of this thing? Whatever this is. Let's try it. Oh, this is... Oh, I just realized. This is like a giant Nuka bottle or something. Or a Nuka rocket. Yes. I just didn't make the connection that it was Nuka World related. I don't know why. I thought it was just a big rocket. A big red rocket. Yes. Ha, ha, ha. Jokes everywhere. Go ahead. Go ahead. Laugh. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Um, okay, what's up? Ooh, star core. Great. Oh, we have enough star cores to unlock a new protocol again. Okay, that's cool. Anything up here specific that we want? Circuit breaker. Let's activate that. What's that? Oh, okay. Why is it doing this? What? Um, okay. This is really bad. Let's get off of this thing as soon as it hits the top. Oh my god. I have no idea what's... Okay, okay. Well... Then, uh, okay, well, at least we can get off. Jesus, that was kind of freaky. Okay, yet again, a robot has mutated. How? I have no idea. We have found Nuka Galaxy. Let's kill this thing. We're running a little low on health. I'm not even gonna. Whoa, I forget they explode. Okay, need to kill you. We jump over here. Okay, down you go. Uh, we need to return to the mainframe so that we can shut down more of these guys, make our job a lot easier. So let's do that first. So many locations that are so just close to each other. How in the world am I going to get back? We can fast travel, but I'm sure there's a bunch of enemies that are going to block me from doing that. Let's see, anything in here? Radway, great. Nothing else it looks like. Let's see, maybe if we go all the way into the back here, we'll find a star core? That'd be too easy, but we did find a safe. But a novice lock. I'll take it. Thank you. That's it. Shotgun shells. Awesome. All right, let's try and fast travel back to the main area, Galactic Zone. Yeah, so many just, like, such a concentration of locations in a tight-knit area here. Okay, now this starts us out at the beginning, but it's just a short walk over to the mainframe, which is right there. So let's actually take a look at what we have. Yeah, so we have like a giant, what well, looks like a space needle, where the mainframe is. And there's like a giant Nuka rocket. I, I think it's shaped in the shape of a Nuka Cola bottle. I'm not sure. Like one of those rocket ones that we've been seeing. Well, the Fallout 4 iteration, basically. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and plug in some more of these star cores. Wait, we only found one, right? Yes, only one. We need 10 more just to do the quest. Obviously, there's way more than that. Okay, we'll do the protocol shutdown too. Oh, wow, this... Oh, okay, we have even more targets now. 
Uh, let's see. Turrets, sentries, or assault trons. Well, assault, assault trons are the most difficult. I guess we'll just shut those down. Okay. Yeah, so maybe if you find all of them, you can shut everything down. But then you don't get as much experience. But we don't really need experience at this juncture. Okay, let's heal up a little bit more. A lot of radiation damage in this area. Uh, yeah, basically I'm saying it's in the shape of one of these. Like, obviously, we've all seen those before. I don't know why I'm making the distinction of a Fallout 4 Nuka rocket. But uh, hopefully anything that I'm saying makes sense. Probably not. Hi. Bye. Okay, let's go back over here to Nuka Galaxy. Let's go into this middle area and see if there's a... Yeah, the cores seem to be... You know what's funny? These are kind of like Jiggies in Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie, which I love. They're a couple of my favorite games of all time. They're kind of like Jiggies. Like, we found a, you know, Jiggy or Star Core at the top of that thing. Yeah, they're all in little interesting locations. Consumer animatronic take outfit? Sure, why not? Take the cappy shirt and jeans. Okay, let's put this away. There's a lot of firing going on over here. Uh, what is that? Souvenir teddy bear. Okay, we'll open that. Okay, is there a star core back here, maybe, in here? Ah, there is, look at that, okay, great. Nuka grape, and a duffel bag. Okay, looks like that's about it. Yeah, little secret locations. In, um, in Banjo-Kazooie and Tui, though, their jiggies are far harder to get, there's like 10 per level. And if you haven't played that, I highly recommend it. If you have an Xbox One, there's the Rare Replay Collection, and they're on there. Uh, trust me, great games. Okay, find star cores in Nuka Galaxy. We have seven of them. So we're going to go ahead and activate our stealth mission. Okay, I'm hearing based on the uh, based on the dialogue that's being played, based on the announcement, I would say this is probably going to be like an interactive game or something. Okay, as long as we have our sneak criticals. Come on. Still don't know why these robots would be equipped. Oh, these guys, these Mr. Frothies give us radiation. That's not cool. Okay, I know there was some turrets in here. Why is there so much defense all over the place in a theme park, man? I'm sure they explain it if they haven't already in terminals that we've read. Okay, let's see. Cola bottle. Yes, it looks like a ride indeed. Six hours and four. Oh, I know what this is. This is what we saw in the trailer. Okay, yes, I know exactly what this is going to be. We have another Nuka Cola victory. I'm grabbing those in the courts and the quantums, but obviously there's quite a few. There's no shortage in this Nuka world. All right, let's go back here. Let's see. Hi there. Are you bad? Nukatron Sentinel, I guess you just don't see me. Well, no point in waking you up. We'll just move on. We've got a colony to defend. Let's go. Two stim packs in there. This is so cool. This is just exactly like what exactly how a theme park normally is, if you guys have ever been to one. If you've not, well, this is what it is, pretty much. I mean, they've just done it so accurately, because like I said, I think in the last episode, I've been to many theme parks. Back from living in Florida. There's a star core in there. Can we jump in here? Well, there's a door leading in there at least. Okay, let's take out our Overseer's Guardian. Okay, we'll throw a grenade down here. Take that. Oh. Okay, good. Down you go. All right, now where was that door? How do we get in there? We have been able to jump into rooms like this before in Fallout 4, so just trying, but it doesn't look like that's going to work now. Okay. We're using quite a lot of ammo, and unfortunately, we're in the galactic zone, so of course, we're only getting, like, energy weapons ammo, which is not good. Let's put this away. Okay, let's go in here. What do we have? Nuka Galaxy Control Terminal. Okay, warning. Multiple malfunctions detected. The ride has been halted until safe conditions can be restored. Please escort all guests to the nearest exit. The automated track clearing system is offline. Please restore main power to clear the track and allow normal operations to resume. Ride controls. Okay, we need to fix the malfunctions before we can use those lighting controls. Activate ride lighting. Why not, right? Okay. 
So the ride lighting is on at least. Now we need to fix the main frame as usual. There's a door over here with a master lock. God, it feels good being able to... Wow, I didn't even need to turn it at all. Well, that doesn't feel good because what separates a common pleb from being able to open that than from me then? Okay, back up to 10 frag grenades. Finding a bunch of stim packs, which is good. Trying to open all this stuff just basically to get the experience because I think we're pretty close to another level up, which is very nice considering... Even though I'm going to say how high of a level we are and everyone's going to say, You think that's high? I'm this level. It doesn't care, buddy. I only care about having fun, alright? Okay, not being like super powerful in an only single player game. I never understand those comments. Like people are like, You think that's high? I'm level 80. I'm like, cool, man. That's great for you. I hope that, I hope that corrects everything about your life. I hope that is wonderful. Okay, we have the same exact terminal here, so we're not going to be able to do anything. We have a star core. We have a Nuka-Cola Quartz, right? Yep. We have a Cap Stash. Okay, anything else in this room? Maybe another? Ooh, Nuka Galaxy Employee Key. We don't need keys. Where we're going, keys aren't necessary. Whatever the... Whatever the... Whatever the quote is from Back to the Future that I'm not good at remembering. God, talking is hard! Okay. Bottle cap, 45 rounds. We have the Employee Key for this. Oh, this is what we saw. So there's going to be another star core right there. Okay, let's see. Anything in here? No, nope, still no way to fix the mainframe. Yeah, just so many energy weapons ammo. So much energy weapons ammo that I do not need. All right, back down we go. Let's see. Okay, we can go through here. With the employee key. Hi and bye. Now, let's see. What do we have in here? Oh, we might just have to go through the entire ride, fix it, and then we can, like, ride it back. That would make sense, and that would be cool. Another star core there. That one's a little easy to miss because it sort of blends in thanks to the light levels. Nuka Girl animatronic. All right, let's take the Nuka Girl. Oh, there it is. Nuka Girl rocket suit. Grants ability to breathe underwater and plus one charisma. Very nice. Can we wear that? I forget if Fallout 4 allows you to wear women's suit and vice versa yeah nuka girl rocket suit all right there we go so i guess there is no male version okay let's see park medallion dispenser okay i was also wondering if it was going to give you a park medallion for each little section in each little area and indeed it does okay let's see can we go back here we can actually go onto the rails what is this door is this a door too no it is not Okay, what do we have back here? A little maintenance section. We're not really, it's just the ride section. Which we can get on. Maybe? Are we gonna fall through? No, nope, looks like we can walk the rails. Okay. And I, I guess I'm specifically remembering Banjo-Tooie and Kazooie also because of... In Banjo-Tooie, there's a world called Witchy World, which is a, uh, a theme park themed level. And it's my favorite level of any Banjo game. So, yeah, it's, it's just giving me a bit of, bit of nostalgia towards that. Also, finding the Star Course and finding the Jiggies. This is an exit to Nuka World, and I did not mean to do that. But, perhaps there is something up here of worth? Nope, looks like just the... Oh, yes, this is what we saw before. Okay, let's just make sure there's no Star Cores up here. Doesn't look like it. Alright, back into Nuka Galaxy. All right, so our only other option now, and I'm not gonna find all of the star cores. I will go back off camera and find them all, but if we have enough, basically, if we get a decent amount after like clearing a location, we'll exit just to keep this moving because we've got so much to do in this LP. And I'm sure you guys don't want to see me just exploring an area for 20 minutes. Unidentified intruder. You're right, unidentified. Man, we had so much ammo, but we're using so much of it now. What's down there? Okay, let's throw a grenade all the way down there. Let's see if we can hit him. My god, there's a lot of stuff in this area. Ooh, this is cool, though. Look at this. Alright, do we want to continue to stay on the rails? Cadet Astro Gutsy. Alright, let's just move on. We're gonna run across this. Oh my god, this is just so similar to Witchy World. It's insane. It's blowing my mind. If anyone has played Witchy World... Or if anyone is- Why do these things attack? Why are there turrets under- Again, I know it's probably explained, but this is just insanity here. Like, 
Are people just supposed to enjoy the rides when they see, like, laser beat? Wow, that grenade just automatically... Wow, they must have hit my grenade in midair. Good for them. Let me take that. There's so much stuff going there. They got most of them. If I can see you through the dip... Yeah, stop moving. I can't shoot through this anyways. Okay, not sure where we really want to go. This is so confusing. We're really low on health also. But very close to a level up. One, two... Okay, any more turrets? Yep, of course. Why wouldn't there be? Let's reload. Turn this corner. Star cores. Where are you at, guys? Ugh! Star core over here, probably. Yep. There we go. We have enough star cores for another mainframe upgrade, or whatever you want to call it. Oh my god, this place is so dark. It's like one of the few areas I actually have to use Pip Boy light. Okay. Not much on the bottom level. Let's jump over here. Let's kill this final thing wherever it is. Oh, there you are. Aw, thank you. Can't even move. And you go. Something below us as well. And something firing at us over here. Bye bye. Oh my god, there's just more and more and more. There's just something about Nuka World, man. There's like a million enemies. Okay, we're not even gonna bother with that stuff. It's not gonna give us anything. Let's climb all the way to the top of this. <coughs> Nothing? No point to being up here? Okay. Let's go back down, I guess. Ah! Oh! Planned. Alright, let's see. Thought that was section leading down. I guess not. Let's see, we have a metal box. Nothing much. God, there's just like a million places to go right now. And I want to kill everything so this combat music stops, stops playing. Okay, let's go this way. Now, what's the point of being in here? There's no terminal down there, right? Just a star core? Okay, I think we want to go back onto the railings then. Let's put this away. Another stim pack there. Awesome. Nuka Galaxy Control Terminal. Ride controls and lighting controls. Activate emergency lighting? Sure. Ah, that's why it was so dark. Ride controls? Multiple malfunctions. Maybe we need to turn on all the lights, but the lights shouldn't fix everything, I don't think. Okay, well, where does this door lead? God, this is just super confusing. I'm trying to make my brain up about all of this. All right, let's go back over here. I mean, I, I mean, this is where we started, right? Yes, this was the main room. We turned on the lights for that. So let's go back and retrace our steps. I think there was a console that we missed. Uh, without turning on the lights. Okay, well, the lights are on in here now, so we can see everything. Oh, there is a door down there, actually, that I didn't see. Okay, let's head back down here. <laughs> okay, we'll go back into Sneak. I'm assuming there's gonna be only one core for this entire area anyways. Okay, got some ammo there. Alright, let's go through here. Um... Okay, no button to like extend. Oh, there it is. Thank God, I was like, well, that's a pretty crappy dead end to, to come across. Okay, we have an elevator which will open, but let's, what else is down this hall? My God, the amount of stuff they put into this DLC is insane. I mean, it's good, I love it, but just, wow, I didn't expect this. This, this is by far the best DLC and again, everything I hope. What? Oh my God, what was that noise? Cadet, Astro, Gutsy, some more in here. Okay. Let's go through here. Yeah? Am I? Another star core. Cool beans. What is that? Automatic laser pistol. Obviously, we want to look at every weapon to make sure it's not unique. Nuka Galaxy Control Terminal again. I still think we missed one set of lights. Okay. Ride controls. Same thing. Lighting controls. Activate ride lighting. Okay. Yes. Yeah, for each section. Wait, no, that just shut it off. Okay, let's kill this guy, and then we're gonna probably end- Oh my god. Enjoy that! And there's our level up. Okay. Uh, let's turn those lights back on. Okay.
Okay. And then we'll also level up. This is what I was doing. Uh, gun Nut, you gain access to rank three gun mods. Just getting all of those. And the last one is rank four. Okay. And uh, yeah, we're gonna end this episode here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Oh my god, this is just completely baffling. Also, it's a blind let's play, obviously, so I'm not really 100% sure where I'm going and what I'm doing, but I'm trying, and I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. Uh, please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.